Hello, 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 my colleagues in uniform. My colleagues in uniform, when I say the colleagues in uniform, I mean usually nurses, doctors, physiotherapists, laboratory technologists, public health nurses, and any health worker. For about two months now, we've had issues with the, with the interns, the Ugandan interns. We tend to, to zero down to doctors only, but we have pharmacists, we have nurses, we have medical clinic officers all who need interning. Now, for me, interning is not the issue. My issue is we health workers participating in the development of, the, of health care. We health workers marketing health care to the populations. When you see the problem that the doctors are discussing as interns, it's basically an issue of governance. And I keep blaming ourselves for this. For me, I keep blaming ourselves for this. Despite having maybe the word DR in front of your name as a doctor, it doesn't separate you from the masses. It doesn't separate you from the rest of Ugandans. Now, Ugandans, the majority are involved with what they call a struggle to liberate themselves. But the doctors and the other health colleagues don't care. You know, when you have a situation where even water is cut off from a hospital and you're like, but where are the nurses? Because cutting off water from a hospital really undermines the work of nurses. I posted a picture of a baby born and uh, covered in myconium, meaning that baby needs bathing immediately after delivery. But imagine such a nurse struggling with cleaning that baby because there's no water. Now... All these things are happening because the medics, you took a back seat. You took a back seat. I've often insisted that every person is sensitive to health. Right now, you know Museven is locked up. He claims he's locked up and he has listened to health workers. And that tells you how powerful health workers are. But the Ugandan health workers, you took a back seat. You took a backstage. And you ignored the rest of the populations who are struggling. It's the health workers who know all the statistics. Either poor either sick, either the mothers, we call them the vital statistics, the vital statistics which is which usually use women and children as an indicator for health. Now with all these statistics known to us, the health workers, we have not made use of them for advocating for the, for the delivery of health care. Now the intern problem, the interning issue is it's not about government failing to, to deploy, no. Just, government just doesn't have capacity and to develop that capacity government should have set up known the priorities better you need more well developed hospitals the poor people whom we take as a resource are not good for healthcare. the poor people whom we are proud of all the time are not good for health care so as a country this is something that we need to develop we need to grow the cake. And by growing the cake, it means having uniform development across the country. That you can deploy interns in Tororo, you can deploy, deploy interns in Moroto, you can deploy anywhere. But the, inter, the interns of Uganda, I think, basically look at the, the major regional referral hospitals or regional hospitals. The districts where interns cannot be deployed because there are even no services, no housing, no water, no electricity. So as a country as a people we need to rise up to the occasion and it's such rising up should be driven by what i would call our elites the professionals the doctors the doctors you don't present as the destitutes that i normally see well thank you for listening i'm floating on water i need to protect myself lest i sink thank you